So you're probably thinking this video has to be clickbait, but the truth is there's actually a tool out there which was founded by a group of people, including Elon Musk, that uses artificial intelligence to make our everyday lives easier. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this tool to find print on demand t-shirt niches or t-shirt design ideas very easily. So if you follow the link in the description, it should bring you to this page right here. You might need to actually create an account, which is very quick and it's free. But once you're logged in, you'll see this screen. And if you head over to the menu at the top and click playground, it will open up the tool that we're going to be using today. Basically, this massive text field right here is your playground where you could enter any sentence like there's an example right here, which says write a tagline for an ice cream shop, let's just try that. And then what you can do once you've got your sentence ready, you can then click submit at the bottom and it will uh, use artificial intelligence to create an answer to your command in a sense. So let's press submit and it's put the best ice cream in town. So not extremely creative, but you get the idea of how the tool works. You can also use these other buttons here at the bottom to, for example, regenerate. <laughs> that's, that's quite a funny one actually. That's a lot more creative than the first one. So yeah, sometimes clicking regenerate here does definitely help out get some different results. And you might be thinking, how can we use this for print on demand? How might it be beneficial? So one way would be to type in something like list of 50 best-selling t-shirt niches. And because it'll be 50 niches, there'll be quite a lot of results in this case. And that's why you might have to go over to the right-hand side and turn up the maximum length in characters right here. So now that we've done that, uh, I'll just click submit and see what we get in return. There we go. Oh, it's put Disney and Harry Potter, <laughs> Game of Thrones. That's not really something that we'd want to be selling, but obviously the tool doesn't know that. If we look through this, we've got mum life, dog, dog mum, cat mum, wine mum. <laughs> That's quite a good one. So if you scroll through, you might get some new ideas here of niches that you've never thought about. We've got nephew, that might be an idea, bridesmaid, maid of honor, bookworm. That's interesting. If it's not trademarked, that sounds like an interesting phrase. So you get the idea. You can give the tool these sort of uh, commands to write a list. And then if you look through the list, you might get new ideas in terms of niches. You would obviously still have to copy the word and check back on Amazon if there's t-shirts selling out there, if it's a niche worth entering, and uh, also double check if there's any trademarks. Gym rat, that's quite a funny one uh, that you could look further into. And if you don't find anything, you could once again hit regenerate and see if you get some different ideas. You can already see that Disney and Harry Potter isn't in this anymore, so it's a completely different list. Junk food lovers, extroverts and introverts, that could be interesting. Right-brained, I can't imagine there being t-shirts on that. Vloggers, bloggers, pescatarians, hmm, is that going to be a good niche? I don't know. Um, you'd have to type it into Amazon and see for yourself. but. This is one way to use it. You might think, well, a lot of these niches are also quite broad. So one thing that you might do is delete all of this and then write list of 20 summer t-shirt niches. So going a bit more sub niche or niching down. And let's see what comes back with that. So you've got fruit, vacation destinations. That's a good one. Summertime activities, grilling. That's a good one. Beach, pool, lemonade, um, warm weather. That's an obvious one, isn't it? But uh, yeah, you get the gist. Popsicles, that's one that I actually recommended in uh, one of my last videos about niches to sell in August. So there you go, uh, very cool niches that's given us back there. And you could obviously exchange this as well for, I don't know, winter t-shirt niches or even more specific things. Uh, another thing you could do is you could come or you could let this tool help you come up with t-shirt design ideas and the way to do that is let's say you want to enter the hiking niche if you're struggling to think of ideas just type in list of hiking t-shirt ideas maybe i'll put 20 so we get um, a decent number and then if i hit submit it actually comes up with different sentences of what we could put onto our hiking t-shirt designs i'd rather be hiking hiking is my cardio that's a good one i need my hiking fix i mean there's some basic ones like I love hiking, which uh, might be a bit too broad. I can't hike without coffee. Wow, that's cool. So we've got an, a nice cross niche idea right there. A day without hiking is a day wasted. And you notice as well that a lot of these phrases could work quite well as scalable designs. So 
um, hiking is my escape, you could replace the word hiking with lots of different hobbies and create hundreds of designs very quickly. One last thing I wanted to show you, something a bit funny, I think, sort of as a proof that this is actual artificial intelligence and it's not just, you know, pulling or quickly pulling some Google results and pasting them into here. You can actually give it more complex commands as well. Um, I'll just come up with something randomly. I, I tried this before with, uh, with a different spin and it actually made me laugh. So let's put something like write a story and I'll try to come up with random things on the spot. So um, this can be a story that anyone's ever written before. So write a story about a girl, a dishwasher, and a, maybe an animal. What should we put as an animal? Polar bear. Right, and let's turn the maximum length down a bit because I don't want to be reading a book. So let's put that to 2000 and hit submit. And let's see what the tool comes up with. One day, a girl was walking home from school when she saw a polar bear in her backyard. The polar bear was standing next to the dishwasher and it looked like it was trying to figure out how to use it. <laughs> Why would it be doing that? The girl was curious, so she walked over to the polar bear and asked it what it was doing. The polar bear explained that it was trying to wash its dishes, <laughs> but it didn't know how to use the dishwasher. The girl offered to help the polar bear and she showed it how to use the dishwasher. The polar bear was very grateful and it thanked the girl before it went on its way. <laughs> So that's a pretty funny story right there that the tool came up with very quickly. And um, I actually did this before with uh, some different items. I think it was a boy, it was a washing machine and a, uh, an elephant. And it came up with a hilarious story. The elephant was high. I wish I could remember it properly. I wish I recorded it actually, because it was something like the boy was walking through the jungle and then it saw a, it saw a washing machine on the floor and it looked very dangerous. And then an elephant jumped out of the washing machine and <laughs> tried to attack the boy. It was ridiculous, but very funny indeed. So that's just to prove that this tool actually comes up with things on its own. I doubt that anyone on Google has written a story about a girl, a dishwasher and a polar bear before. Um, that sounded like this. So very cool indeed. I have no idea how it works. Well, I can kind of guess that with, art with artificial intelligence, these tools learn um, a lot of stuff over time with uh, getting fed sort of human inputs into it. That's exactly how search engines work. The more people use them, the smarter they get and the better they understand what humans want. But it's still very fascinating to uh, watch this sort of tool work and it's only in beta. That means who knows how good this would be in a year or two from now. So if you're watching this in the future and you're trying out this tool, it might already do all the work for you. <laughs> you never know. But considering this is fairly new and it's only in beta, um, it's very useful and it can actually help you uh, find some t-shirt niche ideas or t-shirt design ideas if that's something you struggle with. Yeah, have fun with this. Um, I hope you like this tool and I hope it can help you with your print on demand journey. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was quite funny and a bit different, but if you're still looking for more ways of how to find niches, then I recommend you watch this video next where I show you five different ways of how to find evergreen niches that actually sell.